everyone, Comic Reviewer here, and this time doing a Halloween episode review. And this one is on the first first special of the Treehouse of Horror. Now, I think we all know what Treehouse of Horror was. It was one of those annual Simpson Halloween specials that's been going on for quite a long time. I know in later Halloween specials you had a bit more blood gore and characters dying. So decided to go through each of the sort of Treehouse of Horror specials to give my thoughts on. So the first Treehouse of Horror special was the third episode from the second season that aired on October the 25th, 1990. And yeah, you had James L. Jones as a guest star as basically for minor roles. So pretty much in some of the early ones you had Marge kind of warning the audience about you know sending kids to bed and worrying about not sending angry letters and through the premise of the first Treehouse of Horror special we do kind of see how yeah Bart and Lisa and Maggie sit in the treehouse to tell scary stories and we do kind of see how Homer, who comes back home, decides to spy on the kids. And this is where I think I give the first special credit. Like, it reminds me a bit of the old TV shows, like Are You Afraid of the Dark and Tales of the Crypt. We kind of see how, yeah, you have the first one, Bad Dream House, where Bart tells the story where the Simpsons move into a 18-bedroom house. And later on, we see how it's meant to have an evil presence that kind of wants the Simpsons to leave. And we do kind of see how Marge is a bit more, more sort of worried about the house's presence. And we do see how Homer tries to foolishly throw away the problem without seeing the bigger picture. I think it's not a bad idea, and it does remind me of those haunted house premises, where there's going to be one character who... Wants to, wants to be realistic, but you know the other one is going to try to be a bit more wanting to stay, not to be too worried. And yeah, the second one is obviously meant to have Hungry Are the Damned, where Bart tells the story of the Simpsons being abducted by aliens, and which would be the first appearance of Kang and Kodos. And I think here, you don't really see Kang and Kodos as well conquerors, but instead wanting to welcome the Simpsons. And we do kind of see how Lisa is a bit more cautious about them. And it feels like at first the writers were intended to have them as, as wanting to eat the Simpsons. But I feel like the network probably told them, no, you have to change it. We don't want it to sort of be a little too dark. And yeah, it's going to have it with Lisa ruining the family's chances. Which reminds me a bit of later Sim season Simpsons. And we do kind of see how, yeah, in the third and final one, Lisa basically reading the book by Edgar Allan Poe, The Raven, which was basically an old po poet storyline from 1845, which is obviously meant to have Bar as the Raven and Homer as the poem's narrator, and Marge as Lenor. And I kind of like how Homer starts to get really annoyed with the raven who's meant to be Bart. And I like how he goes after him in a cartoon fashion. And I like how the ravens kind of go around his head saying nevermore. And we do kind of see how, yeah, after the Simpsons go to bed, we see how Homer basically is now terrified of the stories. I think the premise of the first Treehouse of Horror special feels like there were a lot of limitations that I feel Fox threw at them. I feel like they said, no, we don't want to go too dark. We want you to use these stories. We want you to use the characters we give you. We want to make the stories a little kid friendly. I feel like some of the stories had potential. Like, yeah, Bad Dream House going darker and parodying the whole haunted house trope in most horror films. I feel like Hungry Are the Damned is kind of 
downgraded Kang and Kodos a lot more. I think at least with the later seasons of Treehouse of Horror specials, they did make Kang and Kodos believable villains. I feel like the network were probably a little worried they didn't want to make Kang and Kodos too much like evil villains or something. And I think it would have been interesting to see Homer throughout the first two segments having it like the Raven be with Lisa and then with Bart and Homer saying, you kids call these stories. And I would have liked to see Homer do a parody of Chainsaw of Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Friday the 13th. It would have been interesting to see Homer a little un unimpressed or a little unhappy with the, with the sort of stories Bart and Lisa told. But I feel like it's not the greatest version of, of the first Treehouse of Horror. And it feels like there was a lot of limitations the network had. Again, you can go darker with Treehouse of Horror. You can kind of go darker. I feel like the later ones feel like they just lost its spark. And then you noticed how, yeah, they just kind of limited down a lot more. Showing how they were running really low on ideas. But I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. It's kind of alright. Kind of okay. But really, just watch the sort of late sort of 2000s or, or, or later 90s ones. You'll get a bit more enjoyment. So, comic reviewer here. Signing out.